Hi guys, how are you? Today I'm going to teach you how to not care. Now I'm not the kind of person who was born easily able to dismiss the judgments of others. But I've come to realise, as the success story of my family, Laura, that it's far easier now to care less when other people try and bring me down. I feel sorry for John Dix. John Dix, you are successful within your own right. You are very good at Junior Monopoly and you don't care when the cheese is thicker than the bread it's sandwiched between and I commend you for that. So here are some very useful tips on how not to care. Number one, invest in some land. People with land don't care. They will cut you on that land. Number two, permanently have this face. Number three, always remember that you don't need everyone to like you. Only the most popular people, you can discount the rest. Number four, revenge is a dish best served cold, I hear you say. Wrong. Wrong. It's best tepid or room temperature so the E. coli can thrive. Have you noticed people who don't care make a difference and those who do rarely change the world? Beyonce doesn't care. Beyonce doesn't care. Hair corner fan? Doesn't care. Associated with Michelle Williams? Doesn't care. Marries two syllables? Doesn't care. If friends or enemies try to mock your style, it's because you're changing their reality and their perceptions of you. And mockery is the only way they can deal with change. But remember, if you're the one laughing the hardest, they can't hurt you. <laughs> try to outwit your adversaries by taking a mocking comment and making it into an even bigger joke. Oh, damn it. Nice jacket. Last season. Oh yeah, thanks, yeah, French Connection UK. Offending dyslexics since 2001. <laughs> Remember, you don't have to be hot to be cool. It's perfectly acceptable to be rich. Now when it comes to trolls, and I don't mean Derek Wibley, I mean internet trolls, the best way to play the internet game is not to play it. Or to play it more good. If you ever feel like you're letting anybody else down, remember the only person you have to answer to is you. Not God, not your parents, not Billy Ray Cyrus, you. Stand up straight and improve your posture. Have you ever seen Daniel Craig giving a shit? Have you ever seen him giving a shit? No. And with lumbar vertebrae like that, you never will. Okay guys, don't forget to go and check out my film review blog, roseonfilm.tumblr.com for my latest review of Orange is the New Black, and don't forget to subscribe here if you haven't already. I will now leave you with the biggest life lesson of all. Calling someone ugly does not make you prettier, and I know what came before both the chicken and the egg, but I shan't elaborate because the gifted rarely do. It was Helen Mirren. And always remember, there is truth behind just kidding, no offence but, and Rose, you look like shit in that, okay?